Welcome to your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Be sure to check out your exclusive discount offer at the end of your free lesson. You can use the Pivot Table feature of Excel to access some of the most powerful data analysis that Excel can provide. Pivot tables allow you to organize massive amounts of data in more coherent and meaningful ways to extract from the data exactly what you would like to know. Probably the most helpful feature of pivot tables is the ability that they have to be reorganized quickly and easily in order to change what information they're displaying and calculating. When you create a pivot table, you're comparing information in your worksheet and then calculating intersecting values of your choosing. In addition to the pivot tables, you can also create pivot charts, which use the data from pivot tables but display it in a graphic format. The best way to learn how to use pivot tables is to actually create one with which you can experiment and practice. Excel makes it easy to create a pivot table from your data. To create a pivot table, first select the worksheet that contains the data from which you want to create a pivot table. Next click the insert tab in the ribbon. Then click the pivot table drop down button in the tables group and choose either the pivot table or pivot chart command as desired. If you select Pivot Chart, then Excel will create a pivot table and an accompanying pivot chart at the same time. Either way, next you'll see the Create Pivot Table dialog box appear, and here you must select the source of data for the pivot table. Your choices are to select a table or range, which pulls the data from your Excel worksheet, or use an external data source, which allows you to use data from a query or an open database connection. Below that area, you then have to select where you want to place the pivot table and or pivot chart, and you can choose a new worksheet or an existing worksheet. If you choose the existing worksheet choice, then you have to click into the location text box and then click into the worksheet to select the cell that will become the upper left corner of the pivot table and or pivot chart. When you're ready, just click the OK button to create your pivot table and or pivot chart. Now next you will see the pivot table field list task pane appear at the side of your workbook window. If you also elected to create a pivot chart, then you'll see the pivot chart filter pane floating over the workbook area. In the pivot table field list pane, you will see the information from your data source. Now you have to click the checkbox next to each field in the Choose Fields to Add to Report section that you would like to add to your pivot table. As you check each field, Excel will then add it into one of the four quadrants shown in the Drag Fields Between Areas Below section at the bottom of the task pane. Report Filter, Legend Fields or Series, Axis Fields or Categories, or Values. So at that point, you can then click and drag the field shown from one quadrant to another based on what function or layout you want the pivot table to display. Note that fields that are placed into the data section are calculated using the sum function by default. So let's say we wanted to see total sales by city. We would add city, and then we would add monthly sales. So we can see that information. And here's the accompanying pivot chart. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Like what you see? Pick up your copy of our complete tutorial today and be sure to visit us at www.teachucomp.com slash YouTube for your special bonus offer. Our complete tutorial featuring introductory through advanced material is available on CD-ROM or digital download. You will receive our high quality video lessons plus printable instruction manuals in one easy to use training package. With over two dozen titles to choose from, you'll be sure to find the training you need in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more. Visit us today!